I'm sure you know by now that the artist formerly known as Prince died yesterday, April 21st, 2016. But what you may not know is that Prince died on the exact date of True Passover 2016, which is the exact date that Jesus died 2,000 years ago. The reason this may not be coincidence is Prince's first big album that most people remember was entitled 1999, and it was about the end of the world. And actually, Prince wrote a few songs about the end of the world. He came out with another one several years later called Sign of the Times. But 1999 was the first really big album, and in the lyrics he says, 2000 parties over, out of time. Most people think 2000 referred to the actual Gregorian year 2000, but actually it refers to the end of 2000 years from Jesus. So Jesus said he would raise us up on the third day. One day equals a thousand years, so the third day is the third millennium. The exact year that Jesus said that is unknown, but it's generally agreed among scholars that Jesus was born around 4 BC and crucified around 33 CE. 2016 marks the time period that represents the end of 2,000 years since Jesus made that statement. That marks the end of the two days and the start of the third day, which is when Jesus said he will raise us up. So it's interesting that the artist formerly known as Prince would rise to worldwide fame based on an end of the world song calling attention to the end of the 2000 years and die on the exact biblical date that Jesus, the Prince, was crucified roughly 2000 years ago. And here's the other thing. You know they're also about to set up the Arch of Palmyra in New York during this Passover week as well. Remember Prince came out with that song Alphabet Street, which referred to New York City. The Arch of Palmyra was the entryway to the Temple of Bel or Baal which was the false god the Israelites worshipped. And they're setting up that entryway to the Temple of Baal on Passover week this year. The reason they're setting up the replica of the Ark is because the Islamic State destroyed it six months ago. But what no one's talking about is the fact that they destroyed it on a 40-day schedule that has been continuing for almost two years. They destroyed the Arch of Palmyra exactly 40 days after they destroyed the Tomb of Jonah. And the reason why that's significant is Jesus made a statement about the sign of Jonah. He said, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So the phrase son of man literally translates to descendants of humans, which would refer to the people living today, the descendants of the people who are living during the time that Jesus said that. So he's referring to the sign of Jonah and three days. And three days refers to the start of the third millennium, but it also refers to the three years, which is the length of time that the literal darkness of the atmosphere will occur after the meteorite hits. That's in the ancient prophecy that Jesus knew 2,000 years ago. It's a really ancient prophecy that talks about the meteorite that will hit the earth in the future. And of course, their future is our present. So the reason all of this is important is because their ancient prophecies are coming true in exact detail. So what Jesus was saying was he was referring to the sign of Jonah and three days. So there's all these fulfillments happening of that ancient prophecy and the sign of Jonah, which may have been the destruction of Jonah's tomb six months ago, preceded the destruction of the Arch of Palmyra by exactly 40 days. And 40 days is the other significant amount of time in both the story of Jonah and the story of Jesus. So the Arch of Baal will be set up on either side of the Atlantic Ocean in New York City and London during Passover week 2016. And Prince, who rose to fame on a song about the end of the 2000 years and who died exactly on Passover this year, just a few literal days before they will be setting up the Arch of Baal in New York, which symbolizes the destruction by a meteorite because that's what the fire and brimstone represents. It represents a meteorite hitting the earth. In the prophecy, Baal is connected to that fire and brimstone, and the arch right now represents something that was destroyed. So I just don't think that's a coincidence. Prince, 
dying on the exact date that the Prince of Peace died 2,000 years ago. His first biggest song referenced the 2,000 years, the end of the 2,000 years, which was not the year 2000, by the way. And he died on the exact Passover when they are going to set up the Arch of Baal, which references the fire and brimstone, which is the asteroid that is supposedly going to hit the Atlantic Ocean because that's the Sea of Babylon. And that asteroid hitting the Sea of Babylon would destroy New York City. And the Arch of Palmyra itself that they're setting up in New York City right now is a symbol of destruction. For more information, check out the playlist Bible's Countdown to the Meteorite and Rescue linked here and on my main channel page on YouTube. There's also a video in that playlist that explains how we know April 21st, 2016 was the true biblical date of Passover. There are also some links below this video. I hope you're doing okay, and I'll talk to you later.